Hello everyone, welcome to round number four of week number one of our community FFA team tournament. This time we are going to be having Death Tacticus, Classy, Trat Pingvin, and Toothback competing on series. And of course, Philothenic still here with us. Yes, we have expansive scavengers, elites, and scientists. Prediction, no elites will found. We'll see if that actually <laughs> happens. Um, oh boy. Water is a bit interesting on this map because we don't have a lot of ice. We have a okay amount of water, but water diminishes like everything else. So water could be an issue going into the late game. Um, nothing really stands out saying that you must found right now. So that's why I'm not surprised that we're seeing our players wait. There is a good scavenger spot directly to the right of St. Petersburg. Feedback has been found near it. Trap Pingvin going for an expansive in one of the places I was just going to mention earlier. And going up to HQ2 based on that strong crushing of aluminum. That Tacticus and Classy apparently don't know what they're doing. They have not, both of them have not found it yet. Yeah, we're just waiting on the cash. I'm honestly, I'm kind of curious if you can manage to go scavenger south of New St. Petersburg. You've HQ got, yeah, right there where Death Tacticus ended up. You've got high carbon, you've got low carbon. There's low aluminum nearby, higher aluminum a bit further away. But you're right next to this water and on top of that, you're in the middle of a ton of salt. You're just gonna have salt on every single tile. And salt improves both glass kiln production and uh, greenhouse farm production. So that could be an advantage that DT can exploit because I think like every single tile he's gonna put a production building on this game is gonna have salt on it. And on top of that, no diminishing. Dude back also almost has the same advantage. Um, they could have all the salt they want if they HQ built if he built his buildings correctly. We do have everybody in HQ2. Classy decided to found for a scientist on this triple iron, but is he gonna have to ship everything else? I'm yeah, sensing gonna... a teleportation rush yeah. from the scientist here. I do like Trat Spot. The only downside with it is the lack of salt next to his buildings and you don't want to um well there are no nukes oh there are return which is on the black market i mean the one thing i have to give trat is his control of the silicon market that might not be as important this game as it's going to be for others but i think there's one silicon tile yeah, left on the map that he doesn't control tile. i did not notice that so good for trat for picking up on that the black market yeah, that could, can be serious at different points of the game. But I, we had glass start, I believe, at 40 this game. Silicon didn't start at 40 as far as I know, or at least it's not there now. And so it's hard to say exactly how important that's going to be. On top of that, we're on series. Nuclear power is available, which can oftentimes steer people away from solar power as nuclear plants are just so strong. So I don't know how important that's going to be, but it could end up being pretty key this game. And even if it's not ridiculously important, even if these things don't go out of control, it often opens up the hacker ray possibility that I'd hope to see out of Trat. So far though, Trat still on two. DT and Tudback have both made it up to three. Yeah, that's kind of what you'd expect with these, both these scavenger founds are pretty decent. DT has one hologrammed nuclear plant. So everybody else looks like he has a awkward farm and considering he's building real farms down below, might be able to guess this is a third Yeah, power might plant. Might want to change that up. Might, might want to change that particular hologram to, to look like something else. So... I expect we'll see Trat go up soon. Yes, he will. He's going hard into solar panels. Paid through all of his debt, now earning $800 hundred dollars a second in the power money making a dt also earning power money but nowhere near as much the trat's going to keep Black that away from dt shifting line. out of those solar panels putting back up steel mills needs another 10k for the upgrade yeah that's still it's still a fair ways away okay there he's gonna be able Got to get it. there now but 
aluminum seems to be a little bit difficult for Trat this game. I did notice he picked up the aluminum tiles that had carbon as well, those combo tiles, rather than going for the the valuable aluminum. And even though the aluminum is going to diminish, I do have to question that a little bit because there was carbon elsewhere on the map, so it's not like he needed to rush to secure those necessarily. Mm -hmm. And it does slow him down through these initial upgrades, which is a little bit of a concern. You can see that expensive aluminum has been has been holding him back a little bit. Yep, everyone on HQ3 also classy did make it to HQ3. His remote shipping uh, fuel and oxygen. There are pirates on the map, as well as some water and aluminum. The question for classy is, do you go for HQ3? Patent Lab, or can you wait HQ4? Yeah, I would honestly be pretty tempted for HQ3 this game. You can even potentially disguise it as a steel mill. You've got the holograms. And, you know, it's just going to be not even disguised. It is just HQ3 Patent Lab. HQ3 Patent Lab. Tudback is the first to HQ4. Making some, uh, using that salt to their advantage, farms and glass kilns. Classy. Farms that look like solar panels from DT, of course. Claimed the last silicon tile. That's, well, you're going for teleportation anyway. I mean, Might as well. Might as well, indeed. It does look like Classy should be able to secure teleportation, picking up the goon squad now. That has to be attacked very quickly for there to even be a chance of preventing the teleportation, and it doesn't look like anybody's particularly interested. It I saw a spy get picked up, but I think it landed elsewhere. Right, if no one was paying attention to Classy, they might not even know that that is a patent lab for another 40 seconds or so. All right, yeah, spy. Looks like one of the spies at least is on DT's nuclear plants from Trat. I think we have another one some oh yeah over on the glass kilns of trat from two back all right cold fusion auction actually going up to twenty thousand. you don't see that very often no you don't now this is, uh, trat's in an interesting position right now does well maybe that second emp will decide for trat that he doesn't have the income to try and take out death tactics in a majority buy of course our players don't necessarily know who is what other player unless they've been able to identify by playing habits as they have masquerade on nuclear plants and holograms it's gotta that be should should give it away <laughs> but the uh the window for that i think has closed due to the emps by death tacticus all right classy picks up the teleportation but you have to wonder was this was this too expensive to make it worthwhile? 120,000 in debt. Never got to put down any power. Power is once again very expensive. And still back on HQ3, not able to get to forward just yet, even after teleportation kicks in. Yeah, the problem that is quick hit of resources. Um, they need 35k more, 40k more in steel. Going for a slant drilling next. They're trying to set themselves up for the long term. The question is, will they spend too much time on HQ3 for that long term? And the same question with Trap, as Trap is now two HQs behind Tudback, who is running away on HQ levels HQ5. I also want to point out, maybe not enough respect for the fact that the mules do in fact consume fuel. While they're busy, it looks like Classy was maybe trying to take advantage of the apparent spike in uranium when that was going on, not realizing that DT mostly had control of that market. And you can see those mules, I believe they've been going for a while, and they're all the way over at the uranium patch past oh Tudback at this point. <laughs> so that is that is an awful lot of fuel to be spending to collect well, they that don't... not particularly valuable resource. Yeah, they use 0.2 total. Yeah, so it's, not it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, but you know, when you're already writing such a fine line of being forced to pick up teleportation quickly this game, it's very difficult to find 
any room for error whatsoever. And I, I would call that one a bit of an error this game, unfortunately. Yes, I do apologize for anyone listening to uh, this stream or YouTube cast. Also, we decided to do the uh, replay the same music over and over again bug. So I've heard the intro to this theme about ten times now. Wonderful. Underground nuke auction for 6k to That's Trat. I'm a little surprised. A bit cheap. We do have Trat yeah. making a buy onto Classy, and Death Tactic is joining in. I would say this is a good move by both players. Um, well, it's could... definitely, I think, good for DT. He yeah. should get, get the five, the last five here, if he wants it. Yeah, definitely good for DT with that extra cash, that extra income. All that income coming from power 14 power per second, giving Death Tacticus, well now it's a little bit of 11, but 2.7k. Now, nobody else is in the power. Pratt is go, okay, well, Tudbeck has some power, but not enough to drive the price down. Death Tacticus has just been hacking up the power here. He's, he's been hacking uranium more recently. He does have an awful lar awfully large number of nuclear plants down. Two shortages well. on power, one on yeah. uranium. Yeah, and, and another uranium coming as well. I'm a little surprised. DT had the opportunity to take Classy out. He had enough money for a short time there, and he didn't. He did not pull the trigger on that. Now going into trap. Yeah, bit of an interesting decision decision from DT here because if he wanted, he could have that purchase pretty much whenever he'd like it. And he's decided, no, it's not valuable enough. I don't know if he simply thinks he has the opportunity to eliminate Trapford. Well, there he goes. Finally goes ahead and decides he's going to take down Classy. Yeah, don't... It just felt indecisive there. Right. What I was say about Classy is... I don't know, I never really liked this found too much, and then when they did go for that quick teleportation, they rotated out of the steel, put down yeah. that patent lab somewhere else, because that just delayed any possibility of an upgrade to HQ2, I mean, sorry, to HQ4 for so long, and that, you know, caused debt problems because of the stacking interest and all that other stuff. Certainly, we saw it was quite painful. Also, another thing that I, I kind of have to recommend when you're doing this kind of thing is you don't have to ship power. If you can get into a position where you're making money on power, which I think there was an opportunity for this game, maybe just getting into a spot where you can make that happen will give you enough cash that you're not feeling the pain as much early on of having tiles very, very far away from your base then you can be set up in a better position to go ahead and move forward. So that kind of thing combined with using the steel more effectively, picking up just one more claim before going after the patent lab, little things here and there can can smooth this out, but it's it was going to be a very difficult game for Classy then regardless. I would go for the HQ4 upgrade first before going into the next patent. Yeah, kind of just have to be done with the patent lab for a while at that point. Yeah, the three, three patents... Too much money lot. spent on patents, especially with Ken's not very low. Three uh, patents, a lot of patents to get bought out at each three back minutes, that's for sure. Is throwing the game to the Tacticus. Yeah, he's buying into Shrat right now, which I find Puzzling curious. is a polite way to put it. Yeah. I would say that's a one. clear mistake because I mean it, I don't think he's going to be able to get the buy super quick, which means Death Tacticus is just going to make a decent amount of money off of Classy right now and with that stock advantage. Now, Death Tacticus is hacking power back up. It wasn't making him a lot money. of money, but it's making a decent amount, 1.6 a second and increasing. Yeah, and, and like this entire time, Death Tacticus has had, I think, three nuclear plants hologrammed ever since power got expensive again. He's been operating on that. He's had plenty of uranium income to make it happen. He tried to get a hold of that. So 
sometimes hacking power, sometimes hacking uranium, and either way, setting himself up into a decent position this game. That said, Tootback, he's got a lot of cash, as does Trat. They've just committed it to each other, and I'm very concerned how that's going to work out long term this game. Yeah, so. A classy man at HQ4. If you, can, uh, if you can make the buy quick enough, which is what I don't think is going to happen for either of these players, then buying an HQ5 does give you the sub-advantage over the Tactical, who has an HQ4. But I think it's just going to take too long. Yeah, that's, that's kind of my perspective on it as well. It's like, this is the kind of thing that can work if you're making an absurd amount of cash already, and you can get to that purchase quickly, get that subsidiary pulling in money, be able to pick it up without costing too much, but that's just, it's just not the case this game. So we know Death Tacticus is hacking the power, four power shortages. Let's see, Trat's doing two power surpluses, and Tudbeck is surplusing uranium, silicon, shorting chems, and four on electronics. Lots of hacking going on in this game. I like it. Yeah, there's a pretty silly. There's a lot of hacking going on. It's kind of hard for us to figure out who's hacking what in real time, other than Death Tacticus always hacking energy. Yeah, Trat does seem to have remembered that he has a near monopoly on silicon, and the subsidiary is actually the only one remaining that even has access to that silicon. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, working on that hack at this point, DT does have two hacker arrays operational. One of them is usually hacking uranium, the other is usually hacking power. power. It's just... Oh, DT, two hacker arrays. Two hacker arrays feels like, feels like a lot for a scavenger, in my opinion. That's two whole tiles. You've only got 18 base as a scavenger. Even if you count the extra ones that you might have picked up with bribe acclaim and the two extra one you got for founding later, that's three. So still, you're on 19 tiles remaining at that so... point, and one of those those has turned into an optimization center. Right. Starting to run a bit low on tiles. Right, Trat, um, and this is this is the other downside to uh, Tudback's play in a Trat, is a uh, Trat has bought three claims on the black market, has more claims as an expansive, and, um, well, did until just now have a significant advantage on uh, the cash on hand over to back, but that just evaporated, and I'm not entirely sure why. He paid down debt, I'm pretty sure. Okay, there pretty we go. Pretty sure he paid Mixed down some debt. Well, now he was in C. A neck and neck race between the two, but Death Tactics is just sitting over here 270, 260k, and the climbing. Finally diversifying out of power. Interesting that Death Tacticus is actually optimizing uranium. That I don't know how necessary that actually is. This With game. 800 uranium on hand. Yeah, and on top of that, you know, once again, he is a scavenger, so it's not like these have been diminishing this entire time. They've stayed quite strong. Mm -hmm. And so I don't, I don't know if the optimizing uranium is absolutely necessary. On the other hand, I mean, it is a $300 resource, so. It's a little hard to criticize him for that. On top of that, Tudback, this this game, never secured uranium for himself, but has been continuing to operate these nuclear plants, which has just been, you know, a little uranium consumption each second that helps out Death Tacticus and makes sure that his markets stay strong. Trat is getting very close to a buy on Tudback at this point. Yes, so Trat is going to buy out Tudback any moment now, and then... If he gets that done, he's still in a great spot in a lot of ways. Yeah. Yeah, there's... DT has... Not been, uh, DT has not been pushing his advantage as much as he could have been. I think he's just been in, tried staying in power way too long, to be honest. The engineers have advanced our I, I think, yeah, I feel like the hacker arrays initially were okay. They were what that you should do with a hacker array if you don't have almost an absolute monopoly, which is take something that's naturally happening on the market and exacerbate that situation, right? magnify what's already happening on the market. DT, after the first couple of hacks, switched from that mode into I am trying to force something to happen on the market. And that is always significantly more difficult to do. And I think it means that he has had a lot of tiles. He's had like 
five tiles committed effectively to this uranium play, and I don't think it's worked out quite the way he needed it to this game in order for it to be effective. Right, so DT still has the cash advantage of almost 200k. We'll see how this works out. Um, there are a, a lot of transitions going on from Death Tacticus, but I have to think that Death Tacticus has given Trap the opportunity to get back in this game when he shouldn't have. That's what it no. feels like. And it does kind of feel that way to me as well. That said, DT still seems to be in a fairly strong position. He's a little bit behind on subsidiary stock owned. And on top of that, his Black subsidiary is, is only a little bit stronger overall than the two back subsidiary, and he doesn't have as much of it. Trat still has a portion of that. So Trat is doing better in subsidiary income. He is doing better in terms of stock price. He has a little bit more stock of DT secured. The one advantage DT has is all this cash. The question and is, debt. can he use these hacker arrays? Well, and debt, yes, and debt. But can he use these hacker arrays to exploit that effectively? That becomes the question. We will find out. Now, um, Tudback has a slight advantage in optimizations. Now, one thing Death Tacticus probably should do is Death Tacticus has three uranium tiles. There are per return of claims on the market. Yeah, those are on the market. He could have. So, I mean, he should probably get out of a, at least one, one of them. Just, just get rid of a medium somewhere perhaps i like how uranium and on top of that dt has this problem where classy as a subsidiary has gotten into his uranium market with that slant drilling and he keeps trying to force it and it feels like there's just not quite enough going on to make it happen 800 uranium in the bank was okay when uranium was 300 dollars. uranium was just 150 and no matter how much you buy it up you can't just magically turn that into quite enough cash to overwhelm Trap Ping Ving when you need a whole 1.3 million to get to the buy at this point. Right, and then the other thing that DT is allowed... It dropped to eight. It just dropped to eight. He's allowed Trap to buy all of Death Tacticus shares, which increased the price of Tudback's stock, while Death Tacticus still only has the one in Trap. Yeah, he's still only got that one so secure, and that's why the buy is still 1.3 million. We've gone from DT in the lead to Trat in the lead right now. Trat's basically guaranteed to win game at this point. There is no Should way. Be. DT has just been dancing around this whole time instead of just getting work done. And this uranium market has absolutely been the death of him. Yeah, too, trying to be too cute. To begin too cheeky. Too, too cute indeed. By far. And Trat, he's just going to sell out his own stock and finish this game, because he can. Yeah. No problem whatsoever. And DT has left this opportunity. Looks like Trat kind of chickened out after the first sell. He could have sold one more and got it done. Well, Trat has but the buy right a, now, just he's needs to realize it. Anyway. Yep, just needs to get it done. Sell out of everything. There's that red button. Trat takes down Death Tacticus. A well a bit played game by Trap. Um, so slightly wrong in my prediction that Tudback buying into Trap would kill both players. I was half correct if it killed Tudback, right? <laughs> classy. <laughs> uh, no, that was uh, the right move to buy Classy, I'd have to say. The wrong move for DT is what we said you know, going on after, which was playing around with the hacker rays way too much playing around with the uranium not not finishing yeah because you can look and be like but dt made a million dollars on uranium that's good no it's not good dt made two hundred thousand dollars on uranium that's fine that's fine to make two hundred thousand dollars on uranium but you're really not exploiting at that point the power of the salt you compare that to, for example, DT had almost an effective monopoly on uranium, right? For a long time, nobody else sold significant amounts of uranium. Even Classy, you know, didn't get anything done with that. Classy's subsidiary got in the way of that as well a little bit. You compare that to Trat Ping Vin's effective monopoly of silicon. He didn't mess around with it that much. He did a couple hacks here and there, 
you did, let's see, two shortages is what Trap Ping Bin did with his own silicon. He made 400,000. So you consider all the work that DT put into his and how much advantage he got out of it. And the war, the small amount of work that Trap put into his, the advantage he got off of it, mm. it's just not even comparable. Right. Three tiles to get that um, uranium for Death Tacticus, all remote shipping. Trap, only two tiles right next to his base could rotate out of them if Trat ever needed to. That's that's silicon at the start of the game. Trat did a did a good job identifying that and securing that location. That certainly paid off for him this game. Yeah, this uh, might have I have a feeling this might have been one of those uh, maps that uh, Trat had the seed for and was able to practice. Hold on, it'd be interesting to actually go back and look and see what teams had what seed and whether that translated to a win or not. Definitely might have been. And another big thing here, Death Tacticus like, managed to lose money in electronics overall, despite trying to play around with those shortages that were going on. Maybe not realizing that those were Trat Ping Vin's electronics shortages. He also made 600000 total in that market, did Trat, where DT lost like 25000 Ah, yes. Uh, the uh, Boosted Pleasure Domes team members in Twitch chat are confirming they did have the seed ah. for this map. That would help out. It's a lot, lot easier when you've had the opportunity to practice and figure those things out. 